binomial probabilities using the TI-84. And I just wanted to let you know that your calculator is capable of doing um, individual probabilities as well as cumulative probabilities. Today we're going to look at the PDF function, which is just going to look at the individual probabilities. Let's say we have 12 jurors that we're choosing, and the probability of getting a specific juror is 80%, or if you see here it says 0 0.80. Now we want to find the following probabilities when we're looking for two jurors, more than two, or more than six. So let's begin with looking just specifically at two jurors. So we're going to attempt to use the binome PDF function in our calculators, and this is how it's going to look. We'll put in the binome PDF, the number of trials, the probability of success, and the number of successes that we're looking at. It's very important that our P and our X match up directly. Okay, so we have 12 jurors, 80% probability, or 0 0.80, as we'll put in the calculator, and the number of successes we're looking at is 2. option 0 or option A, depending on which calculator that you're working with. In this case, mine is option A. So I select that, and then I'm going to enter in it, just as I saw it, as N, 12, comma, P, 0.8, comma, and then 2 for my X. And I hit enter. And that is the probability getting exactly two jurors that are of this order, the Mexican-American order. Notice it says 4.325376e to the negative 6. So what we would do is we would take our decimal point, see how it is right there before, after the 4, and we'd move that five places over. So the actual number would be 0. 0.000. 0, 0, 4, 3, 2, 5, 3, 7, 6. All right, let's go back now and look at the problem where now we're looking at more than two jurors. So in this scenario, what we're going to be looking for is x equaling 1 and x equaling 0, and we'll sum those two together and subtract that from 1. Okay? So now we're going to find, I'm going to go back over there, I'll use a function called second entry because that'll pull back up the binome PDF. So I go second, enter key, and I'm going to enter in my zero of, instead of the two there. I'm going to change that to um, zero and hit enter. Because of the, the, the value is so small, we can literally call that zero. And then I'll do second entry again. And change the zero to a one. And what are you thinking? You think it's going to be just as small as the one at zero? You're probably thinking correctly if you are. Yes, it is, it's very small as well e to the negative 7. So that's also going to be a, a 0. So then I would do 1 minus, and then I'm going to 
use my parenthesis and sum the two probabilities, which in our case, the probabilities were both zero. Zero plus zero. But to give you the, the format. So what is the probability of having uh, more than two jurors on the for the trial that are Mexican American, or a county has 80% Mexican American uh, individuals? It is, it is 1%. It is the absolute probability. All right, let's look at the last one, where we're looking at the probability that x is greater than 6. What is the probability that we'll get more than 6 jurors who are Mexican American? We're going to follow through with the same definition, the binome PDF. And what we're going to do is add 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 together using the same concept of the second entry. So I go back into here, and I go second, I think that hit the second key, second entry, and I need to do that one more time, second entry again to pull up the binomial PDF. second entry and jot down uh, 0.08, the, I'm sorry, the one when we're at eight jurors. I'll just change that to an eight. Oops, oops, my calculator's off. Um, so I'm going to go second you wonder if there's another process that maybe this could work out with. Maybe the CDF, the binome CDF function. So I'm going to jot down 0.236 and I'll do second entry again. Zero 
six, seven. And what is the probability that over half the jury will be Mexican American? About 98%, 0.978. There you go, folks. That's using the TI-83 or TI-84 family in finding probabilities using the binomial distribution.